Hey everyone, lately my go-kart's been kind of smoky. I kind of overheated it the other day, so, and it's been down on power lately, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a big bore kit on this bad boy, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm just gonna put a new, uh, I believe it's a 155 to 160 big bore kit, so it's not that big of an improvement, but it's just like mainly stop the smoke and return it back to stock power. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so if you're doing a big bore getting a new top end, you usually don't gotta label it or um, mark your timing. So let's take it out. That's gonna be fun to get out. So here's our gear right here. I marked it just in case, but probably won't need to use it and since you're gonna be moving around the piston anyways.
Hey everyone, just finish up the big bore. Hopefully it works or else I'm gonna have to take everything apart again. And hopefully that's not the case. So let's fire it up or try to fire it up at least. Let's try. Take a second. I think it would probably help if I had the spark plug boot hook. Okay, so up. I'm gonna get my foot on the gas pedal. Okay, so this thing's a lot faster. It works a lot better now. Uh, I think what I'm gonna have to do is I might get a new clutch that bites better. And if you're wondering why it like red lines at 30, it's cause I, I geared it really low so you can get up hills a lot better. But yeah, this thing works great now, no smoke. And don't worry, I did the braking process before I started flooring it a lot. Um, and there's some few other things I should have included in the video, like how to set up your timing and stuff. Just set it at top dead center, and then usually all vehicles are different. There's usually a manual online that shows you how to do it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Not that hard, actually. I just had to take out the seats and pull up the top end and set up my camera. But besides that, if you think about big boring this and you have some decent mechanical skills, I would say go for it. I mean, I could do it. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's not that easy, but like... That's a great learning experience, so I would definitely recommend it to a lot of people if you want to get a little bit more power out of your GUI 6 engine. So yeah, that was my big bore. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and yeah, see you next time.